Hey everyone. So today I would like to discuss about the first class function, which is basically one of the key um, feature in Python. So first class, uh, before jump into that first class function, so also we can call this as first class citizens. Uh, people, uh, they refer to first class citizens. And you know, right, Python is an object oriented programming language. Everything it is considered as an object, even um, variables, tuples, list, um, and functions as well. So, so we can consider our function as an object and based on, we can assign object to a given variable and then we can call that function uh, using another function. Uh, that is all about the first class function. So maybe it looks uh, strange when I say about first class function, but once we started seeing the, uh, the example, maybe it would give more better understanding what is exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay, <clears throat> let me create one simple function, say add, and, and just print hello world. And so usually if you want to call that function, right? So, or execute that function, you can run with the two parentheses, right? So basically, um, since I'm using the print statement directly, I'm not uh, executing the separate print statement on the, on my, um, the seventh line of the code, right? So if I execute this code, so yeah, what I was seeing is it's printing the hello world. And as I mentioned earlier, all the all um, uh, assignment, right? Everything is an object um, in in Python. What does it mean? Is let's say if I put this variable like this, f equal to add. So let's let's try this, whether it is returning something or not, right? So yes right so i assign the variable and that variable it is executed in the back end and return the uh, the output of that function right so what if if i don't provide that parenthesis in the um the end right let's try this f equal to add Okay, of course I have to print F, right? So if I print F, see it is uh, basically storing as a function object, function object for a given um, variable. So I can make sure what is my type of this object or, or variable, right? Yes, it's a class function, but obviously we are storing that function as a variable, right? So uh, let's let's try to expand our program with a uh, with a little more um, scenario. So I'm giving uh, the two parameters, uh, say a comma b, and I want to print that output a plus b. And if I execute this. So in order to execute this very function, I have to provide the parameter, right? So I have to provide the input value to this function. So I'm gonna give, um, let's say five and three. If I execute this, what I am expecting, it should be eight. Yes, as we expected, and we can see the output of the value is eight. So though I'm not executing as a function still i can able to execute as 
with this variable right because this function has been stored as an f variable as an object i can able to call the object of the instance like this right okay so let me jump into the the actual what is first class function the function which calls another function with, that is called first class function let's say i am creating a function call call function and this will take function as an parameter and which will execute that function so basically what i did is i created the function as call function and this call function will take another function as an input parameter and execute that function as it is right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, take the same add function as an example to use this first class function so let me clear this out so what we can do is i want to execute this add function right using this call function so instead of assigning this function as a variable what i can do is i can simply say call function so call function is a function it is taking the parameter so this parameter is nothing but is another function so i can simply pass add right so at the, just for time being i'm just removing this um, input parameter and make it this straightforward hello world okay so i am calling this function and sending add function as an input parameter and this function again will execute that function nothing but this add function will execute and it will print that hello statement that is all about the call function if i execute this you can see hello world right so how can i make sure this is what um function it is right so if i print the function it's saying function add which is my function name and the address of the function right i can do one more verification like this print type ef so what i'm expecting is this function object address which is equal to this object function which we are calling right because when you uh, the python once it's executed that or um, i mean it it will create the uh, instance of the object in the memory or in the container for the same uh, with the same memory location irrespective of the time if you are executing with the same value it should keep the address as it is so if i execute this sorry instead of type i have to use f yes you can see the address of the variable it is the function it is same right so cool and uh, i can do one more thing also right so what is func should be name if i execute this in order to verify what function is passing this to the parameter so that is a inbuilt um, method called um, underscore underscore name or dunder name dunder method which will let us know what is the function has been function name pretty much right so i pass this add as a function as a parameter here i'm just verifying what is my uh, function name which is passed to this function okay let me get rid of this and 
as of now what we saw is it is without passing any argument what if if i pass the argument the one which we saw earlier right so i want to add a plus b okay so this parameter this function requires two parameter as an input but we are calling we are just sending as an as a parameter value right so pretty much this this like a um, argument right though it is as a function calling here but it is for this function it is a parameter value so i what if if i try to do something like this add on comma 2 c function is not callable because what it was trying to do is it is trying to execute it was trying to execute this function here right with these two parameter but but before executing this function doesn't have the uh, parameter to this function so that's why it is um, returning this error so what we can do is in order to fix this we can make this two parameter as again as a argument like this and i can add the org argument like this and pass this value here so this is the default um, arguments where we can um, sending the both the value as a tuple to make sure i can um, i can print that value here and see what is the input argument here whatever the parameter is the first parameter will be a default one and rest of the all other arguments will consider as a, a um, as a tuple as a tuple here so that's why uh, while passing this value it will send us a tuple and this will unpack here while uh, the, the tuple before passing this function it will unpack here and will execute this print statement a plus b so yeah this is all about first class function in case if you guys have any doubt or um, I hope you guys understand um, if you have any um, question please put on the comment section I will try to answer as soon as possible thank you